Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. And this month, I would like to show you an ancient technique that will allow you to make screw threads in wood. It can be done in any wood lathe with a set of tools called chasers. This is an inside chaser, and this is an outside chaser. And with these, we're going to make today a small box with a lid that screws on and keeps the contents safe and sound. Let's look at how we do this. I have chucked our blank in a jam chuck and turned the rough outside shape of our box and parted the body from the lid. I then hollowed out the lid and I'm now going to scrape a little groove at the base of the internal mortise. And I want this groove to be just a little deeper than the threads. And this will allow me to get my chaser in and out without ramming it against the bottom of this mortise and ruining my thread. Before I start to chase my thread, I've applied some water thin super glue right here to the area I'm going to chase. This is dogwood, which is a favorable wood for threading, but a little super glue is great insurance that that thread isn't going to crumble on you. If you have one, an armrest makes the application of the chaser for this inside thread much easier. If you don't, use the rest in the normal way. I'm going to make my lathe go very slow for this job. And I touch down and I sort of push forward. I'm not using a lot of pressure. And there, my finished thread. Now here's a nifty trick uh, for doing an inside thread if you have a little trouble with it, is to turn your tool rest around backwards. And if you can run your lathe backwards, as I am now, you can turn the chaser, the internal chaser upside down and actually go the opposite direction, like this. I have chucked up the body of the box, hollowed out the inside, and turned a tenon that is a press fit with the inside or crest diameter of the internal thread. This will allow me to turn a slightly larger tenon that will be a perfect fit for our thread. I have now turned a slightly larger tenon and made a groove at the shoulder with a narrow parting tool. This is the area I am now going to thread and I've applied water thin super glue to this area as extra insurance. I've now slowed my lathe down to a very low speed and with my outside chaser now, I will start to chase this thread. Light touch. As we start to get very close to a fit here, our thread is a little too large on this side, but it's coming to a sharp crest. So we're going to take it down a little by putting a piece of sandpaper against it that I've glued to a square or of wood. And by doing it from the tool rest like this, I can keep the outside crest diameter concentric and I'll be able to take it down a bit more and get a perfect fit. There. We're just about down to a perfect fit now. Yeah, there we go. Now we'll just turn the outside of the box to our desired shape and we'll be all finished. And there we have our finished threads and a box that uh, will keep things nice and secure for ages to come. 
This is Ernie Conover saying, give thread chasing a try.